So, you want to be a mouse artist? Well, if you're too poor to buy a tablet, want bragging rights, or just a masochist, then you're in the right place. Mouse art has gotten a bad reputation over the years, almost becoming synonymous with MS Paint drawings, but mouse art does have the potential to be legitimately good. To give you some examples, I've drawn with a mouse for a few years now, and my art looks like this. Even if my art won't convince you, I'm sure there's other artists who will. Note that this video will not teach you how to draw. If you want tutorials on that, I have a list for you on Twitter, which I'll put in the description. Instead, this video will give you some tips I found on how you can use a mouse without it holding you back too much. First up is a stabilizer. Some art programs like Krita have a stabilizer option which lets the cursor drag behind, which helps avoid the usual shaky lines you get when you try to draw with a mouse. This can be helpful for doing line art among other things, especially if you don't have a steady hand. Next up are vectors. If you followed me on Twitter, you've probably seen me yelling about these before. Vectors are a different kind of way to do art, where instead of dealing with pixels, you deal with lines and nodes. Since this doesn't require you to make sweeping motions, vectors work well with mice, even allowing you to adjust strokes after creating them. From my experience, vectors are better for simpler drawings. While trying to emulate paintings require lots of unintuitive workarounds, but I have seen amazing things done with vectors, so don't take my word for it. There's an entire article I've read that you can check out too, which will be in the description. And lastly, painting. Surprisingly, I haven't found many problems with painting with a mouse. Since my method is starting with big brushes and zooming in for smaller details later on, I haven't run into the main problem of drawing with a mouse, which is making large sweeping motions with precision. So if you want to try doing drawings like that, then I don't think you'll need anything special as a mouse user. But yeah, I want to emphasize that if you want to draw well with a mouse, you have to know how to draw well in general. You'll still need to learn art theory, how to shade, and all that fun stuff, and I recommend you start out with traditional art. But drawing with a mouse is possible, and tablets aren't completely necessary if you want to do digital art. So yeah, this video was shorter than I expected, but that should be it, so see ya.